Tony and Sierra, we're at the Making Money Matter workshop, and we're at Camp Forbes, and we're here with Phoebe Foundation and Consumer Affairs. They're having a great time teaching students all about financial literacy, and I want you guys to see the story. Come on. The first people we caught up with were Omira Feliciano and Sharon Murphy-Williams. We're here with Omira Feliciano from the Department of Consumer Affairs. So tell us about um, the partnership that Consumer Affairs has with the Phoebe Foundation. Well, Phoebe Foundation is one of our fabulous collaborative partners, and this initiative, this is our third event, three out of six. Um, our last our last one was very well attended. All of them have been very well attended, and here we are at Camp Forbes. Uh, if we can get a little view of Camp Forbes, too, I was delighted to, and, and uh, surprised when I came over here to see that this gem was here, and I had never even seen it. So I am very pleased, and um, I thank all the departments who have helped us. This has been a collaborative effort, both internal and externally. This is a dream come true for Consumer Affairs because since I've been with the city I've been trying to make this happen and it's um, with full support of the mayor's office. I am very very happy and very fortunate to have fabulous partners in making this happen and um, we look forward to many many more events. Right. Mm -hmm. I see um, I hear that they they have been expanding from the first one I think of 206 to now 256 yes. so th so it's growing. For the next three um, do you all expect to do sort of maybe the same thing? Well, the next two, will, well, actually, I'm sorry, the next two will be in schools. So we have uh, met with different uh, school members um, as far as the, the principals and getting all that information to them to see if, A, we can be accepted in their schools, and we were, and uh, we're moving forward with that. So stay tuned to that. And um, our finale will be October 10th, and it will be held at um, Gunnings Rec. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, just tell me, um, just before I let you go, how will um, Consumer Affairs and Phoebe Foundation carry on making making money matter in the years to come? We are looking to expand, and we learn from each single one. So we are very hopeful, very hopeful and excited in, in our future plans. We're here with Sharon Murphy Williams um, with the Phoebe Foundation, and we're at another Making Money Matter. So, since the first time we saw you, tell us how the program has changed a little bit, if it has at all. Well, it's changed by its numbers. We went from our first youth summit of 206, that today we have 256 young people. We have 48 repeat that have been to every summit that we've done. So that says we must be doing something right for them to come back on a Saturday. That's that's what we're doing. Early Saturday morning. So tell us a little bit about what the students will be doing today. They are learning about establishing credit, banking. WICO, which is one of the partners, has come and they are offering matching money. If the kids save $750, they will give them $1,500 to go to school or to buy a home or start a business. We are talking about the establishment of credit. We're teaching young people how to be, it's called arithmetic bingo masters, learning how to multiply, divide money quickly so you know how to create a budget. Okay, um, now I know it, there. this isn't the last one. So tell us about the other ones that you have coming up. We have two more that are coming up, but they'll be in the Cleveland Public Schools. And so that we are doing Summit 4 on the west side and Summit 5 on the east side. And then the grand finale will be October 10th, and the, and the um, site will actually be announced. Okay. Okay, I have one more question. Um, the last time I was here, you had you spoke about one of the sponsors just recently. Last time there was a car here. Um, tell us about some. Tell us a little bit more about the other sponsors that you'll have. The other sponsors are Ganley Dodge. Okay. They have brought their cars to teach young people how to buy new or used or new versus used cars. We have the Department of Consumer Affairs, of course, which is our partner, and we're talking about their consumer rights. Third Federal, which has sponsored some of our giveaways. We have Best Buy that has collaborated with us. State Farm Insurance is here. Um, just a host of people. And the best thing is, this will be the second event that the mayor is making a personal appearance. And we got a chance to talk to Mayor Jackson before he made the actual appearance. Tell us how important a program like this is. Well, it's uh, young people should know early how to uh, not only make money, but how to uh, spend it, how to save it, how to make money to make more money. And so what this does, it gives financial literacy. So uh, managing money is just as, as important as making it. Um, and with the close of your summer job program, just finishing up, and a program like this, tell us how these two programs work together for the city. Well, again, if, if they made the money, the question is how do you manage it? How do you spend it properly? And uh, I was talking to someone who said that uh, younger people didn't know that 
that they were paying more money by having credit than they would if they had just bought something. So uh, giving them an appreciation of what money really means and how you can use it, just not to be a consumer, but how you can use it to make more money and how to spend it wisely. And uh, young people who worked for us during the summer made a little money, uh, and this maybe it will help them to stretch it out a little bit. I want to say just it's important to make money, but it's also important to know how to spend what to do with it. Because every time you make a dollar, you should be looking to spend it. You might use that dollar to make two or three more dollars. Now, after the workshops and lunch, students got a chance to tell us about their personal experience. I learned how to roll pennies, and I learned how to use it and not to spend it on stupid stuff. We also learned about identity theft, like what you can do to prevent getting your identity stolen and how good your credit can be, but at the same time can still go wrong and it's at the same time. And Cecilia Huffman-White of the Huffman Group told us a little bit about her experience with the Phoebe Foundation as well. I've known uh, the Phoebe Foundation for, oh God, for a number of years. And uh, at one point, I was the director of the Starlight Cotillion, which was, um, we provided uh, 16 weeks of training to young ladies who were graduating seniors from the Cleveland Public Schools and the Phoebe Foundation came in and provided financial literacy training to these young girls and got them ready to go to college to tell them the do's and don'ts of handling their money. Tony and Sierra, the workshop is coming to a close, but we had a great time, and this is not going to be their last one. But we did so much today. We saw and spoke to Mayor Frank Jackson. We spoke to Consumer Affairs of Myra Feliciano. We spoke to Phoebe's Foundation, Sharon Murphy-Williams. And we are so excited to be able to partake in this financial literacy workshop. And guess what we're going to do? Go make our money matter. See how you can make yours.